Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install Oracle 19C on Linux. In this video, I am installing Oracle 19C on Oracle Linux 8 version. The installation steps are same for Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8 also. Open command prompt, then switch to root user, then run the command. If you are not using root user, then you have to mention sudo in front of this command. Whatever the commands I am going to execute in this video are available in the video description. No need to worry about the commands executed or ran in this video. See, this error came because of no network. Then run again. Pre-installation checks done. Now we have to set the password for Oracle user. Provide the password. Clear the screen by pressing Ctrl L. Now create Oracle home directory and give the privileges. Now switch to Oracle user, then VI, then bash profile. Remove the existing code from this bash profile by pressing DD from your keyboard, then hyphen I. Then paste the following code. Press on escape, then colon wq exclamation. What it will do? It will save. You, you can verify the same by running more bash underscore profile. See, this is the content there in the bash profile. Now run the dot again dot bash profile bash underscore profile now we have to download the oracle 19c software open firefox then paste this link i will provide this link in the video description scroll down then click on this linux x64 19 db home zip file Click on select this checkbox, then click on download Linux DB Home GIF file. Then we have to provide username and password. Here we have to provide Oracle username and password. If you don't have Oracle account, then click on this create account button. I have already username and password, then I am providing. Then click on sign in. See, once we click on sign in, download will be started. Click on save file, then click on OK. See, download has been started. Its size is 2.8 gigabytes. I am pausing this video until this download completes. Once download completes, we will resume. See, download has been completed successfully. Open new terminal. CD downloads file has been downloaded to here. File name is this one cp linux then u01 app oracle product version db home. 
copy started let's verify see file is copying it's not fully yeah we have successfully copied file to this oracle now we have to unzip this file unzip hyphen q o then file name file name is linux x64 db home zip file unzip started let's see See, Anjip is in progress, but it's not completed. See here. Anjip is successful. Let's verify the list of the files. See, we have successfully Anjip. Now we have to run, run, slash, dot, forward slash, run, installer. See, we got this error saying, x11 variable, not set. So what we have to do? Open new terminal. New window. Then switch to Oracle user. Now run. Now go to Oracle home directory. Now run same. Run underscore install. If you got this error, what we have to do, click on no and run this command that is export cv underscore assume underscore dist id equals to oel 7.8. Now run the installer again. This is graphical installer. Click on next. See here we have two options, create and configure single instance database or set up software only. But I want to create and configure single instance database. Click on next. System class, I am going with desktop class. Then click on next. See these are the settings. Remember all this. This is Oracle base location that we have given in the bash script. This also we have provided. Okay, see Oracle, we have two database settings, enterprise and standard. I am going with enterprise. This is character set. OS DBA group, I am going with DBA. This is the global database name. You have to remember this one. Password, we have to provide the password. Remember this password when we need to connect to Oracle 19C. If you want to create container database, you have to check this box. Otherwise, uncheck. I want to create it, then click on next. Again, this is the inventory directory. Click on next. And this is the group name. Click on next. See, we have to run the scripts. If you check automatically run scripts, we have to provide the password for root user here or pseudo privileges. Then click on next. It is checking prerequisites checks. Done. This is the summary of Oracle database 19C. Then click on install. See the backend. It is changing. See installation has been started. If you want to see the details, you can click on this one and you can verify what exactly is going on. See it is performing these operations. Click on continuous scripts. Click on S. What it is going to? It is going to configure configuration of scripts are gen generated by installer need to run as root privileges. Click on S. I am pausing this video until this installation completes. We will resume once the installation is done. It may take from 5 to 30 minutes or even more based on the system resources.
See, installation has been completed. Click on this close button. Now run the command SQL plus hash as sys dba. See, we have successfully connected to Oracle 19C database. Now run the command to find out the instance name. See, we got the error Oracle not found. Now run the command export this one. Now we have to run the command SQL plus forward slash as sys dba. This command. See, got any error? Then use the command startup because cannot run because it's already running. We have to shut down. Again, start up. So, in this video, we have seen how to install Oracle Database 19C on. Oracle Linux. For more Oracle videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.